In this video, we're going to be using Autodesk Inventor to create ourselves the sloped Lego brick, which looks like the one on your screen right now. Okay, if we do a quick fly around, you can see it's got the tube underneath to allow it to snap on the other blocks nicely. Okay, it's not too hard to make, so let's get into it and get started. So I'm going to go to the File menu and select New. Make sure you're using a metric template and choosing the standard millimeter inventor part. We'll begin today by making a new 2D sketch on the YZ plane. Okay, just hold down your mouse wheel and move the center point off to the left. Now we're going to do our brick a little bit different to what we've done in the past. We're actually going to use the line tool to draw this brick. Okay, we're going to start right on the center point there and we're going to move to the right. Now we want our brick to be 16 mil across there. So type in 16 in the box and press enter. Then we're going to come straight up 9 millimeters and press enter. We're going to move over to the left and we're going to go across 8 and press enter. Then we're going to come down. We're just going to roughly guess on the line there where our finishing lines need to go. Okay, once it's all connected, I want you to go up to the dimension button at the top here and we're going to dimension just this face here. So click and drag out. I want you to give it the size of 3 millimeters and press enter. Okay, this angled line now should be in the right position connecting to those two dots. So that is the size of our Lego brick. And when we finish the sketch, all we need to do now is extrude it and we've got our shape looking pretty good. So let's extrude it. We will be extruding it 16 mil again. And we'll press OK. And you can now see the basis of our brick forming. Next thing I'm going to do is add the little studs on top. So let's start a new 2D sketch and click on this top face. Alright, and we're going to grab our circle tool here. We're simply going to draw a 4mm circle up the top and then another 4mm circle down below. Press enter. We're going to dimension those circles so they are 4mm from each side of this rectangle. So the top needs to be 4mm from the center of the circle. Same with the bottom. So click on the bottom line, click on the center of the circle, type in 4 and press enter. Now to do this right hand side, click on the center point of the circle and make it 4. Same with this one just here. So the right side, center point, drag down and make it 4. There we go, we've got our two little circles in position, so finish the sketch up the top. Extrude both of those circles at 1.7 millimeters. We just need to click on them to get them to raise up and click OK. That's a pretty decent looking Lego brick so far. That's the top and outside all done. What we need to do now is flip it around to the underside and we need to hollow out this underside. And the way we do that is we're going to do a little bit different this time around. As you can see, if we were just to draw a square and extrude it back on itself, we'd have an issue with this sloped face. So what we're going to do is use a new tool that we haven't touched before called the Shell Tool. Okay, it's hiding just up here. If you click on the word Shell and then click on this bottom face, it's going to simply cut out the bottom of the Lego brick. The thickness of this shell, you want to make it 0.8. And simply press OK. And you can see now that it's cut out the bottom of the Lego brick for us, which looks good. Last thing we need to do is draw the tube. It goes in here to help it connect to other bricks. And we're going to draw it on this skinny face here. All right. So let's make a new 2D sketch and just click on this face here. So that's the bottom face still. Okay. What we need to do now is find the center point of this. So just use your line tool, turn on the construction lines. And I want you to hover around that center point until the little bubble goes green straight down, drop it into place and press enter. Then over on the left do the same, look for the horizontal center. Drag straight across, press enter. Okay, you've now got construction lines in there that show you the center of this brick. Using your circle tool, I want you to hover over that center point and drag out a 4.2 mil circle. Do the same again, this time a 5mm circle. 
and I probably should have turned construction lines off before I did that, so I'll just have to select both of those circles and just turn the construction lines off so that they actually appear as proper geometry. Alright, so if you finish that sketch, do a bit of a rotate, you'll see that that circle is sitting there on the base of our Lego block. What we do need to do now is extrude it up to wherever it hits the next face. Okay, so there's a way of doing this. It's going to make sense when I do it, and you'll see what's going to happen. If we click Extrude, and click on this circle, what we're going to do is, instead of setting a distance for it to extrude, we're just going to say to next. Okay, and what that does is it flips it around, and it's now extruding itself all the way until it hits this face. Okay, so you can just see that through there. When you click OK, you'll see we, now we've got our tube. It sits flush with the bottom of our brick. And if you get right in there, you can see that it's attached to the slopey part as well as that flat section at the top. Okay, so I'll just zoom back out there. Last thing we need to do now is just colour this fella in. Okay, so up at the top, second colour wheel. It's the adjust wheel there. Click and drag over the top of your shape and choose a colour for it. I'm going with an orange for this one. Might make it a little bit lighter too. Press the green tick. And there's our sloped Lego brick all done. So save that up. Um, we'll just call it slope brick. Save it. And what we're going to do now is just go to the... Oops, I just want to close off my other example. I'm just going to go to the File menu. And I'm going to go to New. And we'll do an orthographic projection of this shape. So in your metric templates, scroll down. Find the ANSI millimeter option and let's go up to the ribbon and select base okay and you can see our brick here this is the front view of our brick let's move it to the left a bit over to the right we'll put our side view in up above it we've got our top view up in the top right we can click and that will give us our isometric isometric projection of that shape okay it looks pretty good i might just change it down to 10 to 1 a little bit smaller and click OK. Starting with the isometric view over here, I'm just going to double click on it, which is called View 4 at the moment. Give it the label isometric view, toggle its visibility, edit the text, leave it all there. Just want to make it a little bit bigger. Press OK. And we'll change the scale there. We might change it to 15 to 1, so it's a bit bigger than the other sections. That looks better. And we'll also shade it in by pressing that little button just there. We'll shade it in with a bit of colour. Click OK. You may need to just pick that up and move it back onto the page a little bit. That looks pretty good. Quickly label these other parts. View number 1, just double click on that over here in your browser. It's the front view. Turn its visibility on. Edit the text and just get rid of the scale. Highlight the text, make it a little bit bigger. Press OK, press OK. I'm going to do this pretty quick because you should be um, pretty good at doing this yourself now. So view 2, it's actually down the bottom here. It's our side view. I'll type in the box side view, make sure you've turned his visibility on and just edit the text like always to get rid of the scale. Make it 6.1 for the size of the text. Click OK, click OK. Finally, we've got the top view over here. So let's change its name to top view. Turn on the visibility. Edit the text. Delete the scale. Highlight the view. Make the size 6.1. Press OK, press OK. Okay, it's looking good. Down the bottom right now, let's give it a title. So go to the Annotate tab at the top, select the text option, click under the title there, make your text bigger, capital letters, Lego, actually you might call it sloped Lego brick. Click OK, press Escape to exit out of the text tool, and just move that text over to the left a little bit. Okay, last thing you need to do now is just dimension this shape. Okay, there's quite a bit of dimension that needs to go on here, so if I miss some, 
I apologize. Um, you can do that in your own time though. So looking at this side view, we'll just get some of the heights. So we'll get that one there. Get this one over here up. And we'll get that there up. Uh, what else could we do? The bottom view, which we might just leave for a moment, actually. Uh, we'll put it in. Let's label most of the sides pretty nicely. Look at the top view, we'll do these circles. So we'll dimension a little circle. Oops. Get this bigger circle up. And then we'll do these bigger ones in the center as well. Showing the radius instead of the whole thing, that's all right. Um, what else do we need? The distance between here and here. So there and there, 0 0.8. It's looking pretty good. Um, we don't need to worry about this part here. We'll leave that as it is. That looks pretty good. We've got most things covered there now. So, we should be able to draw that brick just by looking at those dimensions. I wonder if this line needs anything. We might just put that... Put it up like that. So that looks pretty good. Okay, so when you're done now, just save that up. So hit the save disk at the top. Give it a name like slope brick. And save, and you are finished.